was coming. You knew it was coming when he stood there and watched it, and now a warning's going to be issued. You made reference to it at the time. Yep. Uh, and maybe it's more permissive in baseball today, but there's some guys that aren't going to go for it. And here we go. Well, David Bell is hot. Boy, is he hot. He is really hot. And some of the great all-time brawls in the history of baseball have occurred between these two teams. And Yasiel Puig is livid down there. Tanner Roark in the middle of that. Looks like some pirate has lost his hat. And uh, Stephen Brawl from the bullpen. Sprinting in. Uh, hey, there's somebody really upset. I don't know who that player is that lost his hat. But he is some kind of bent out of shape down there. And look at Turner Ward. That looks like Keone Kella. And it was kind of funny how it, it unfolded right there because as soon as the warning was issued to Chris Archer, David Bell came sprinting out of the dugout, presumably either to argue that Archer should have been ejected from the game without a warning, or why did you issue a warning and all it does is hurt us because we have no chance for retaliation. Well, it's the first time we've seen this uh, temper of David Bell has been very mild-mannered. And then Archer kind of made a couple of steps towards Dietrich. And that's when the benches began to empty. That'd be a bad day for Archer running into Dietrich. That'd be a very bad day. And now Puig was held back for a while there, and he escapes the hold of Cabrera and Votto, and he's trying to find Archer. Uh, this is not going to end well for anybody out there. Because Major League Baseball really frowns on this. Weak by coming back into the pile like that is not doing himself any any good when it comes to playing time because the league is going to take a hard look and they may throw a suspension on him. 